Okay, so we are going to learn how to create a mood board in Canva. Canva is a free software that you can use to create graphics and collages and all sorts of things that are just um, images um, with text or without text or whatever you want to do. And I use it a lot for blogging and for my courses and it's such a great easy to use tool that's free. So first create an account and when you get in it's going to look like this and you're going to see all these popular design layouts. You can pick one but for today we are just going to pick this square because it's easy. And we're just going to open up a new one. It'll give you all these templates you can use but we're not going to use those for the mood board. I'm going to go over to elements and we're going to go into grids and when you're making a mood board you can have a bunch of little pictures to make a collage but those pictures aren't going to be all exactly the same shape and layout so you're going to probably want to stick with a grid that has a few different varied shapes in it and you also want to take into account how many pictures you will be using. So maybe count how many pictures you have and then count how many spaces you have left. So for this one, I'm just going to pick this one because it has eight and we have eight pictures. So you just click it and there it goes. So now it's on. Now we go add our pictures. So go to uploads. I already have mine uploaded, but you just can click and say upload your own images. And I have a friend who wants to do her dining room in more of a Scandinavian mid-century modern style. And so we decided to build a hairpin-like table, just like this. So we're going to be using this. But first, we found this inspiration picture, and she really liked the look of this dining room. It's kind of what she was going for. So we're going to include this. And you can adjust each picture, because it's just going to sit inside the frame, by double-clicking. And then you can move it you know, side to side or whatever. And we're going to move this one over to the side so you can see more of it. And then you just hit enter. And she wants a nice bold rug. So we're going to add that. And here's the paint colors that I got from the Sherwin-Williams site. And I always love adding a plant in. And she already has some of these chairs. So we're going to add those chairs. She really loves this buffet. So we're going to have this. And she wants one of these types of chandeliers. And as you can see, I'm just dragging pictures over to their spot and it's just auto filling it in for me. So that's really nice. and it's really easy to use. But as you can see, one of the, one of the downsides is that uh, some of the pictures get cut off a little bit. So, you know, you can play around with the layouts. I wish you could adjust them a little bit more in this, but you, at least I don't know how you can. So we're just gonna leave it like this. And that is all we need for this mood board. If you want to, you can go in and add some text. You could add a title and call it something. Um, you could even resize this actual grid a little bit like that. Just pull it a little bit smaller, center it out, and then you could add a heading and put it up at the top. And we could call it something like mid-century dining room and change the font to something different and maybe make it a little bit smaller and change the color if you want to. 
that. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Kind of center it down there. You can even um, just tap it down with your... Oh, I guess it's not letting me do it. And then uh, if you want to, you could even add labels to the individual items. I'm not going to do that, but just add, you know, more text. And you can just add little labels so you can remember where each item comes from if you have a specific item in mind. And that is basically all you have to do. And we made this mood board in less than five minutes. And then you just go download and it saves it to your computer and you have yourself a mood board that you can keep forever and ever. It's downloading. Downloading. And there it is. Good job.